Hi, I'm Coach Tony Morgan and today's video is a special one because we've got a customer in this video. She's not going to be shown, but she can ask me some questions because she wants to know how does this system work. So I thought I'd make like a video and explain it to this customer and other customers can see as well. So you get two for the price of one. <laughs> All right, so what we've got here right in front of this big white vessel this is your hot water cylinder and it's an unvented cylinder and what it does <clears throat> you get your hot water direct from this through these two points here that one there and this bottom one here and inside there you've got immersion heaters which directly heat this unvented cylinder so as I said you get your hot water direct from here it's, it's got its own source it's controlled by these switches here, which it actually says it top boost <clears throat> and the bottom one. Some switches turn on these two heating elements, which are just pointing out to you. So have you got any questions on that? So where, where is the system that heats up the water tank? Well, this is it. <clears throat> this is it, as I just said to you. This is inside here. You've got stored hot water. Yeah. Yeah. And here, mm -hmm. behind there, mm -hmm. and the one at the bottom, you got an um, heating element. Oh right. Okay. So it's like a kettle. Okay. So <clears throat> that gets hot. Yeah. And then heats up the water inside there. Okay. And then your hot water comes at the top. Yeah. And that goes to your taps. Right, okay, I get it. Yeah? Yeah, that's great. So, that's basically it. Now for your radiators, you've got a separate unit here. This is another electric unit, but this is a boiler. We call it a flow boiler. And that does your radiators. So you've got this pump at the bottom here. That pumps around the radiators. It pumps water into this unit it gets hot as it goes through it and then goes at the top that's a flow pipe <clears throat> and then that goes down like that and then that's going to go to the radiators so this one is going to go to the radiators around the system we call this a wet system so you've got electric boiler which goes to radiators and heats them up. So, any questions on that? No, I think that was pretty clear. Okay, you've got your timer here. That's your timer that controls your heating. So you program that for it to come on. You've got this display. So when the timer is calling for heat, you'll have this call light that will display that will come on when it's on you get like a yellow bar or a green bar which goes up showing that the unit is on is that okay yeah all right got another question you want to know how to time this program this right this is um your timer so what you do you've got this switch here this selector switch so you move, let's get a bit closer. So you move that to like that, set program. And then you'll see that flashing like this. See that button there, it says yes. Mm -hmm. So you press that. And wait a minute, that was your first, let's so go through it again. Wait a minute, start from the beginning. Right, so you press that up, it's got your first on, you can watch this back on the video, mm -hmm. you can see first on and then you need to adjust your time that you want it to come on, so what time do you want it to come on in the morning? Um, six. Six, okay, so what you do, I'm pressing the plus button till we get to six. So at 6 a.m. in the morning. Mm -hmm. So 
if you're happy with that you press yes okay and then you can see now it says off and then you just your next off time so you said six so you want to go off at what time half eight half eight so or eight make it eight sorry. eight okay So we've got eight o'clock. So you press it again. Right, so this is gonna be like your um, evening time, tea time. All right. What time would you want that? Um, Five, six? Yeah, maybe, no, a bit later actually. Maybe eight to eight? nine, okay. well, eight to 10. Okay, so we move that down to wrong way. That's eight. Press yes again. And you said till ten. Mm -hmm. That's already set at ten. Okay. So that's it. Press that down to run. And there you go. Okay, great. So it's now programmed. And just press this hour button. So you can press that and that'll give you an hour's heat. We might get a bit more. No, it's off, so it's just one hour. Press it like that. That's off. So that's one hour. You can also press this advance button. That will basically advance it to the next on, if you wish. So now it's on. We're waiting for this call light to come on, but it's not coming on. So we we'll have to check to see if you've got a room thermostat. So this is your thermostat. So that's why we're not getting no call demand on. And you can see it's off. So we're going to turn it up. Hit it click. So now we're going to go over to the boiler. I can hear it now. See so now we've got the call light flashing. So we have got demand. So that wasn't turned on. That's a pump running, so that's okay. So in a short while, you should get, as I said, a, a green or yellow bar going up, showing that this unit is on and the heat is coming out. So you can see that is now on. If you move away from it, you can see it's going green. That's showing that the unit is now sending it. Um, power out and you can see it's gone up a bit more so this pipe I can feel a bit of warmth coming through it now so that will go around the radiator as I said and get hot so that's it it's all functioning cool the last thing is this gauge is pressure gauge you've got a seal system so you need to get it topped up just a little bit more than what it is now. It wants to be just over one. So where the red needle is, you need a black needle to be the same. So what you do, you've got this lever there. You turn that lever to 12 o'clock or 11 o'clock slowly and you'll hear the water go in. And you watch it till the black needle meets the red needle and then close it back to the position where it's in now. Okay. And then that's it. So maintain that, you'll be okay. Other thing, if you do vent the radiators, letting the air out, you then you got to come back here and top it back up because you will lose pressure if you let the air out of the radiators. So that's going to be the end of the video. So if you like it, you can um, subscribe to our channel Give us a comment, I'll be glad to hear from you and you can share it with you and your family and friends as well. So that's it from me and I'll see you on the next video.